Brands that are stealing my videos and using them in their advertising has hit an all-time high this year for some reason. Of course I bought some to test out. I feel like you're pretty good at spotting me in a video, but then it doesn't seem quite right. So Jennifer sent me this one. Did you know you made an ad for these shorts? Jennifer, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know. That's me, that's, that's my blanket, I can tell. It's kinda catchy, okay? That's not me. But I'm sure these girls also got their videos stolen. If you look at the logos on every single one of these items that they're showing, they're all completely different. Some of them are a circle. Most of them have no logo at all. Or the ones I have had this little like gold bar on them. Oh, it's so fresh. Like, is it that hard? to just make your own. So here's their page, 1300 followers, mostly a bunch of stock photos. Let's check out their website. Welcome to always believing in yourself. Oh no, not the neoprene. That's never a good sign. I just, these are all the things that you see on like Wish and AliExpress, just the cheapest of the cheap. I believe these ones in particular are the ones that they were using my video for. High waist, butt lifting, texture, tummy control. Fitness shorts for women, $26. That's a little expensive for shorts like this. So I tried to buy these and I usually check out using PayPal because I feel like that's a safer way of doing it. In all my years of shopping, the hundreds of orders that I've placed through PayPal, I've never gotten this, cannot be completed because it violates the PayPal agreement. I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound good. Next, <laughs> this is one that comes up every year. It's almost like somebody ripped these parts of my videos out and put them on some platform where various brands can take it and use it in their advertising because there have been at least 50 different stores that have used these exact clips for their ads. I get them on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, but a ton of other people do and they send them to me. It's also concerning how many views and shares and likes and comments and purchases these videos get. <laughs> Gosh, this is like the most awkward clip too. Like, what am I doing? What am I doing? So they're for these fleece lined leggings, which the leggings I'm wearing in all these clips don't have fleece inside them. They're definitely not from any of these brands. They're from Lululemon. I wonder if these clips are their own of this girl like feeling them. We'll have to see if their leggings have this little owl logo on them. There I am again, not in their leggings. <laughs> go pick up some hot sale. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and search leggings. Pants, sorry. <laughs> so here they are, thickened, slim, cashmere, warm pants. Buy two, get free shipping. Okay, we we like the size range. <laughs> Let's check out the size chart here though. Okay, so if my waist is 28 and my hips are 39, this makes me a three or four XL. That doesn't seem entirely accurate, but I'll get the three XL because that's what it says I am. But I'm also gonna get an XL. Guarantee safe checkout. US owned and operated, there's no way. As seen on ABC, CBS, Fox, NBC. I feel like anybody could say that. No, oh, no, there I am on the website. I mean, the fleece lining is pretty appealing because it's cold where I am. We have warehouses in the United States and Canada. That's a lie because mine came from China. That's right, they actually showed up. If you're wondering where this cute phone case that I've been holding is from, it's from Casetify, the sponsor of today's video. If you got a new phone for the holidays, you should definitely definitely get a case to case to protect it. Can't tell you how many phones I've broken because they didn't have a case in the past. <laughs> they have thousands of really cute designs to pick from. Lots of them are fully customizable like this one. They also have some that have military grade drop protection and they have all kinds of super cute collaborations. Right now they have one with Olivia Rodrigo. I love these, especially like this one. Very early 2000s vibes. They're fun prints, sayings. Ah, yeah. There they are, both of them. Caseify's new iPhone 13 cases have some great new features. Like the iPhone 12 case was made of 50% recycled material, but the iPhone 13 cases are now made from 65% recycled material and plant-based materials. Oh my gosh, they smell terrible. They smell like glue. That's what they smell like. Case Defy also has a formulated, patented Cheat Tech 2.0 shock absorbing material. And that's also made from recycled and plant-based materials. Ooh, 
Other cases feature Defensify, an antimicrobial coating that kills 99% of bacteria and prevents bacteria from sticking to the case surface. You can go to casetify.com slash Hopescope to get 15% off of your new case. This ad was approved by Hopescope. <laughs> In their own ads, the fleece didn't look this cheap. Like, the stitching is pretty bad. At least there's fleece though. They didn't lie. All right, so the tag says four on it. And then this one says nine. I think I made the right call by going with a much bigger size than I normally do. Those don't look very 3X to me. They do have this little, I thought it was an owl, but it's actually a, a weird looking cat, which makes me think some of that footage is their own. They just like sprinkled some of me in there too for some reason. Thanks guys. We're gonna start with the extra larges, AKA the size four. Wish me luck. <laughs> oh yeah, this isn't happening. That's as far as they'll go on, so. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say these don't fit like your typical extra large, but good thing we got more. <laughs> now for the 3XL, AKA the nine. Whoa, did you see that? The fleece is going everywhere. <laughs> what? Oh, these barely fit. 3XL, huh? These probably fit more like a 4.6. That means their 5XL is probably the closest thing to an American extra large. You gotta fix your sizing. The material itself actually isn't bad. It's a nice thick material that I'm sure holds the heat in well, especially with the fleece on the inside. I've actually had people reach out to me before saying, I bought something from an ad that you were promoting and it was a total scam. It wasn't me, I'm sorry. That makes me think they're using my face on purpose because they think people will do that exact thing. All right, here's one of our newer scammy ads that's been going around. And that's brands that are stealing footage from my palette videos, my returns videos, and trying to say I bought it from them. I had somebody comment on one of my TikTok videos about my Amazon returns box and they were like saying that I lied and they got scammed and it, it was fake. And I'm convinced that it's because they bought something from one of these ads because the sites that I get the stuff from are very legit. <laughs> there have been so many different stores with honestly the most ridiculous names. Like this one that Megan sent me, Pelican Happy Style, Overjoyed Happy Style, Next Day Store Collection. It's like they just had a random English word generator and they're like, yep, that's our store name now. And they're all pretty much this exact video. Gosh. What have I done? I think we had a miscalculation. <laughs> well, how am I supposed to get that into my apartment? First of all, the voice. What have I done? They did that to my voice and they added this stupid music so that I couldn't copyright them. Most of these ads, if I submit it to Facebook and say I own this content, they'll take it down because they did this to my voice. They're like, we don't see any copyright infringement here. And get this giant of a box into our kitchen. Let's open it. Okay, first box, here we go. This sounds so silly. <laughs> Can you imagine though if they went the opposite direction and instead of speeding it up, they slowed it down? What have I done? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here I go. I pick the box up out of the pile and then it cuts to someone else's hands that are clearly not mine. Ta -da! my to -da. stop that's not what was in my box random electronics pretty much is what they're saying is in their mystery boxes like I said there's a whole bunch of these stores but they're all set up basically the same way they're titled something like Amazon Target Merch Mystery Box. And they have like three different options, three different prices. And they're advertising that the more you pay, the better of a box you get. So I got this one for $109.99. 2021 unclaimed Amazon Walmart Target wholesale items. Style Lucky Box. <laughs> I ordered this months ago and after a couple weeks of it not even having shipped, I tried to email their customer service and just, just see when it would ship. I get that shipping takes a while these days, but like the label hadn't even been created. They didn't say anything, but two days later I got an email saying that it shipped. And I was like, okay, we're in business, it's coming. But then day after day, week after week, I checked the link and it was still saying that it hadn't even been dropped off at a location. No label had been created. So I reached out via email again, nothing. That's not a good sign. Another two or three weeks passed. I went to go click on the tracking link again and yeah, 
So, safe to say that box probably isn't coming and I got scammed out of my $109. <laughs> Be wary of the things that are being advertised to you. If you didn't see the first video that I did like this, I'll link that down below, as well as some other YouTube videos that I think you might enjoy. Oh, and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I mean, you keep watching my videos, you might as well do it. <laughs> and Leo and I will see you guys over in the next one. Say bye, YouTube.